Hello everyone, this is Dr. Flores and today I'm going to explain how to do a search for peer-reviewed articles as well as to identify information within the peer-reviewed articles so that you could reference it. So here you have the South Texas College Study.du website. If you scroll down towards the bottom, you'll find a library link. Go ahead and click on that. It'll send you to this tab right here at this website. Go ahead and click or put in your topic and problem. If it's divorce and parents, go ahead and separate the topic and problem by the word and keep it as short and succinct as possible. Three words at the most because you will not find articles if you write a whole paragraph email me, call me, ask me for ideas that will help you uh, mix up those keywords so that you could actually widen your search if you run out of ideas. So here you have the list of sources provided to you by the library search engine, but you do want to filter that out so that you could only see peer-reviewed articles. So you click limiters, peer-reviewed journals and it'll filter it out for you, but you have to go back to the limiters one more time because you only want to see full text. And even at that, sometimes the full text are not provided, so always download the articles before you actually use it. Last but not least, you want to filter by year. So 2013 to 2018 would be within the last five years. If you want to go ahead and sh shorten the scope, excuse me, the scope, to 2014 to 2018 it'll give you one whole year to fix up that paper and publish it so that's a couple of tips there so let's say you want to see this one this is a peer-reviewed article within the last five years you could click on view details um, so that you could see that article so sometimes the article says view it online, view details. I would click on view details simply because you want to make sure that that article, the full text is available and not only available, but accessible via PDF. You want to download that. So this is how you download a PDF. You go ahead and click on full text PDF or full text and you'll have a PDF provided to you. You click on this icon. Uh, and then you download the PDF, okay? So you always want to save it, download it one more time, save it in your folder because these will be needed later on should you want to get the information from this. So how do you get information to reference? You go ahead and look at the top left corner. Sometimes it's in the right corner. You'll see here the name of the journal. The author's names are here. You only need the last name, first and middle initials. The year of publication is here. The volume number is here. The issue number is here. The page numbers are here. And sometimes you'll get the DOI number, which is here. Okay. The title obviously is here. And that's all you need for a reference. Sometimes you'll find that information on the bottom of the first page. And then sometimes you'll find that information at the very end of the PDF in the reference page right here okay either it's here or it's here either way the information that i just showed you should be at the bottom okay here you have the journal name again so if you have any questions on how to search for peer-reviewed articles or how to find the information to reference it uh, the information that you need for citations would be the first page. All you need is the last name of the authors and the year of publication. And that's typically where you find it. And that's all you need for citations. Um, again, you could email me via Blackboard or you could call me at 872-5615 for questions.